My name is Dr. James Weiner, W-I-N-E-R. I'm director of the Weiner Wellness Center located at 2419 Baldwick Road, Pittsburgh, 15205. It's about five minutes from downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right off the Green Tree exit. Our website is drweiner.com, D-R-W-I-N-E-R dot C-O-M. We have two Facebook pages, one at Weiner Wellness Center and the other one at James Weiner, and we're on Twitter at Dr. James Weiner. Our phone number is 412-922-WELL is our phone number, 412-922-WELL or 412-922-9355. Okay, so we've got to talk about detox, and first we've got to talk about toxins, because why would we want a detox? Anyone else need one of these? Did you get one of these, sir? You're not paying attention. <clears throat> All right, now there's toxins in the environment. The water, the air, the food you're eating. You're probably aware of that. Our bodies naturally make toxins. So even if you were living thousands of years ago and we didn't have industrial pollution before the industrial age, your bodies have waste products. And we have about half a dozen ways of getting rid of those waste products. Exhalation is probably the most important one. You know, you can go days without eating, but you can't go more than five minutes normally without breathing. So you have to inhale, and you definitely have to exhale, get all the carbon dioxide out. Then you have perspiration. The uh, skin's the largest organ of the body by surface area. So you perspire. How many people are using antiperspirants? Stop it. It's a fast track to breast cancer. If you stink, it's because you stink on the inside. I haven't used uh, deodorant since high school. Of course, maybe that's why I don't have any friends. <laughs> but, well, we have some natural deodorants here that do not have aluminum. The ones with aluminum, the antiperspirants, cause cancer, and they also stop your perspiration. We want to get the toxins out. And you may have smelly sweat because you have uh, a lot of stuff running in your intestines. We'll get to that in a minute. Also, smelly breath. Uh, two main causes of that. Either you have something going on in your mouth, like an abscess tooth or something, or you have uh, food you're not digesting and it's rotting. And then, of course, we have urination. Some people have trouble with that. We've had people that had urinary bladder incontinence where they cough or sneeze and pee in their pants and that can be corrected in many cases through spinal adjustments. I had someone this week told me I corrected that. And of course we have the UT cleanse for people who have recurrent urinary tract infections. That can be taken a couple hours apart from taking baking soda and the two work like magic. If you've been on repeated rounds of antibiotics you probably have a fungal infection in your urinary tract and maybe in your digestive tract then you need to be on our candy kill and our superbiotic. Uh, defecation. How many people have one bowel movement a day? Let's see a show of hands. How many people have less than one bowel movement a day? Okay, how many people eat three times a day? Uh, do you have three bowel movements a day? You should have a bowel movement uh, equal the number of times of your meals. In fact, generally speaking, if you eat a meal, and if you've been eating regularly, uh, you should probably have a bowel movement within half an hour to an hour of eating because that causes peristalsis movement of the food along the digestive tract. Menstruation is also a method of detoxification. So that's five of them right there. Of course, and we can talk about mental detox, negative thinking. There's Dr. Larry Dossey, D-O-S-S-E-Y. He's written a number of books documenting the power of prayer, the power of meditation, the power of positive thinking. Dr. Carl Simonton wrote a book on this, Getting Well Again. Dr. Bernie Siegel has written books on this. There are many medical doctors who talk about the power of the mind to create or conquer illness. So there's mental detoxification and we teach people affirmations and visualization where you take a positive thought 
And let's say you're sick, so start saying, I am well. In fact, there was Ferdinand Kuwe a hundred years ago that said, I am well, my body knows it, my body shows it. And every day and every way I'm getting better and better. So this is not pie in the sky stuff. We know that the brain controls the body. There are people that actually have the ability to control what we call the autonomic nervous system. There are people that control their heartbeat, their pulse, their blood pressure, temperature to different organs or hands or feet and different even fingers. And this has been documented. Uh, Swami Rama, whom I studied with years ago, was studied extensively at the Menninger Foundation in Topeka, Kansas, where he proved all of this. And he was just one of many. So some people who do a lot of meditation, are very aware of their body, actually have conscious control over things that normally we think people would not have conscious control over. But whether or not you have conscious control over it, you are affecting it through your thoughts, through your emotions. You know, people will come to me with cancer and they'll say, I don't want to change a thing in my life. And that's the most ridiculous thing because there's something or maybe many things in the life that have to be changed because that's what's causing a cancer. It could be a toxic relationship or maybe, uh, you know, emotions that run high at work. Maybe you resent your boss or your boss resents you. Or maybe you have uh, anger and resentment from childhood that you've never resolved. That drives a lot of people to drug abuse and alcohol abuse. And I can tell you I had a very unpleasant childhood. We won't get into the details, although occasionally on the radio I delve into it. Just to give you one negative mantra that my father gave me, he told me I'd never amount to a hill of beans. I got some beans at home, so I don't know. <laughs> and he also said I wasn't very smart. And uh, I don't know, I always did very well in school, so the teachers thought I was okay. So the thing is, you don't necessarily have to live out this scripting. There is scripting, and sometimes people are subconsciously fulfilling the scripting of their families or whoever else. So you have to look at all of this. In relationships, you may attract people who you didn't get love from, and you're trying to get love from those people kind of surrogately. It's a substitute by attracting people into your life who represent your mother, father, brother, sister, or someone in your life whom you're still wanting to win over, and so you attract possibly negative people in your life. So you've got to look at that. And so you can actually, a lot of people, when they, they're looking for a soulmate or something, they start praying or meditating or repeating these affirmations about what they're looking for. It's always good to write things down. Like when we got this building, I wrote down what I wanted in a building. I wanted a place with at least 35 parking spaces. I wanted 8,000 square feet. I wanted near the radio stations that I went to in Green Tree, now the ones changed hands, or actually changed format, not changed hands, but so I'm only on the one now, KDK, the FM 104, went to Country Western Music, go figure. But uh, we found this place, it fit, fit everything I was talking about. And then I realized I didn't think big enough because we needed more than the 35 parking spaces. <laughs> and the car wash behind us had been sold a month before Jamie and I found this building. So for six years I fretted that we didn't find it first and I thought, well let's make an offer the guy can't refuse. And so we bought that last year and now we have the second parking lot. Maybe some of you, anyone parked over there in the second parking lot? Yeah. Now we're working on the third parking lot. The guy's giving me a hard time. We've been trying to get that for six years. We'll see what happens. We also wanted to get the place across the street and that guy's just got too high a price on it. That, well, the, the bread, the laundromat, and the form of Reed Sports, it's one complex there. So I, I would leave those two businesses there, and then we could move Nutritional Frontiers into the Reed Sports building, but it hasn't happened. Maybe it's not supposed to happen. So detoxification. Thoughts, emotions. This lady's chewing gum. It may have aspartame in it, which is absorbed. Oh, it doesn't? Good. Uh, aspartame's a nerve poison. You know, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. <clears throat> so... Now let's talk about physical detoxification. And some people go on a detox retreat. I have a close friend, Dr. Ron Singer, in suburban Washington, D.C. He and his wife every year go out to New Mexico and do what's called pancha karma, 
pancha is the Indian word for five, so it's an Ayurvedic Indian, meaning from India, uh, method of detoxifying, and it also involves prayer and meditation and uh, various physical things that they do. Uh, massage can be very detoxifying, so that's part of that program. Of course, we do deep muscle therapy here. And of course, if you have misaligned vertebrae, that may interfere with their body's ability to function altogether. So coming here, have your spinal alignment checked, uh, maybe have some deep tissue massage can be part of that. But we have a 10-day and 30-day detox program. <coughs> We've given it to you. And, uh, you know, our staff at Nutritional Frontiers is uh, really awesome. There's no one else in the industry that has this type of literature. So this spells it all out for you. <coughs> now, I can tell you that detox has been a central part of natural healing for thousands of years. In fact, there's this thing called the Essene Gospel which is one of the Gospels didn't get included in the New Testament, but there are other books, you know, that were not included in the Old New Testament. And it talks about enemas and detoxification. I used to be the education director of the Hippocrates Health Institute West in San Diego. It's now called the Optimal Health Institute. And we had a program that was vegan, vegetarian, raw foods. We did not serve any cooked food. It was all uncooked raw fruits and vegetables. And then some fermented things like rejuvelac that was fermented uh, juice made with wheat berries. <coughs> and we also recommended enemas. We also recommended greens like the wheatgrass juice. We have people doing that as an enema as well as drinking it. But the thing was, people would get symptoms. They would get side effects. Some of you may have tried just doing uh, fruits and vegetables for three days or a week. Anyone try that here? Fruits and vegetables for three days or a week? Uh, you know, and very often people would get side effects, especially if uh, they have a lot of toxins. Why is that? Because we now know the signs of detoxification much better than we did 20, 30 years ago. The liver detoxifies the poisons in your blood. So when you start going on a pure diet, you start releasing all these toxins that are stored in your body. The liver has to put them in different chemical formulations so the body can excrete it, either by the urine or through the feces. And there's basically three steps of detoxification. We won't go into details. It's very biochemically complex. But if you're not taking supplements to assist the liver, uh, then you're going to have a backup the liver can't keep up with the detox, and then the toxins start recirculating your blood rather than being trapped, let's say, in your fat tissues. And now you've activated them, so to speak, and then you start having symptoms. Uh, bad breath or uh, skin eruptions like acne, like uh, pimples, uh, maybe you get diarrhea or constipation, maybe you get headaches, uh, bloating, all these different types of symptoms that people can get from detoxification when their liver is not detoxifying well enough. So you're going to see in this program we recommend the Live Clear 2. Now it's, it's right on here, I, you know, I know you want to write, but if you look here, you go on the inside, on the left hand, the inside, there's the 10 day and 30 day program and you'll see Live Clear is in both of them. Now we have a Live Clear 1 and Live Clear 2 and basically I think you can take both of them because they're different. This will minimize or eliminate the symptoms of detoxification, the so-called side effects, because it will help your liver get the junk out of your bloodstream before it starts giving you headaches or pimples or other symptoms. So this is a critical part of it. Now, of course, the thing is, if you're trying to clean up, you don't want to pour more trash in. You know, let, let's say you're trying to clean your house and someone's coming in and dumping uh, trash bags full of trash all over. Well, that's not going to work. So what you have to do is clean up the diet. Now, we try to make it easy so you're not really fasting on water or juice or something like that. Most people can't handle that. So we allow you to eat food, and we have on the inside, on the right-hand side, the do's and don'ts of food. Now, this is rather liberal. I'm not this liberal with what is allowed. I, I would not do the meat if you can avoid it. Now, if you do eat meat, it's got to be 
organic meat and not the processed food with coloring, flavorings, additives, and all that type of thing. But be better off if you just did fruits and vegetables and our super shaker best way. Now, some people are allergic to dairy products. They get a lot of mucus or other problems. So then you can do the super shake, which is our vegan, vegetarian, wheat-free, dairy-free powder, which I start my day. Some of you may have been here when I walked in and the first thing they gave me was my super shake with the reds, the greens, and the purples, which we're also recommending and I spoke on that yesterday. These are dehydrated fruit and vegetable concentrates made exclusively from food with some additional uh, nutritional ingredients added. And these also help your de detoxification and also have a lot of antioxidants and also provide the nutrients that you may not be getting if you're just doing, let's say, Super Shake or Best Way. Well, the Best Way is from New Zealand, so it's hormone and antibiotic free. I was explaining to a patient today that if you have dairy products in the United States, probably the cows were given female hormones. And those female hormones are not good for you. So we got our way from New Zealand where it's illegal to give the cows antibiotics or hormones. And so our way is from New Zealand. It's hormone and antibiotic free. A lot of people are getting antibiotic resistant infections. And they've not even been on antibiotics as a prescription. They were on antibiotics from their food. Because the meat, the chicken, the fish, especially if it's farm raised fish, which means they're in a swimming pool, or the dairy products, they're getting hidden antibiotics, which are creating fungal infections and antibiotic resistant bacteria, et cetera. So if you, you don't have a problem with dairy products, you can do our best way. Otherwise, I'd recommend the Super Shake, which comes in six different flavors. And is vegan vegetarian from rice, pea, and pumpkin protein. <coughs> Coupled with the uh, Live Clear 2, and I'd recommend the Live Clear 1 and 2, a critical part of it to help your liver detoxify more efficiently and minimize your symptoms. And then the reds, greens, and purples, which can be mixed in with the super shake or the best way. And then you can eat some meals. I'd recommend that you stick to fruits and vegetables, preferably organic. But if you do eat uh, some animal foods, I would do it sparingly and also sparingly of the grains. And a lot of people are allergic to grains. Uh, one of my colleagues, Dr. Perlmutter, and I've taken seminars with him. He's a famous neurologist from Naples, Florida. He has talked about his book, Grain Brain. Maybe you saw him talking about it on educational TV. And he's talking about food allergies, especially grain allergies affecting the brain. Of course, we have a lot of free literature on our spindles there about food allergies affecting the brain. And then, of course, Dr. William Davis has written several books. One's called Wheat Belly. Lose the Wheat, Lose the Weight is another one. So I'm not a big fan of wheat, and so I, I would say try to avoid that if you're detoxing. And then something we don't have on there would be enemas. You might want to do an enema a day with purified water. I always spice it up with maybe a little squeezed garlic in there. That'll help to kill worms. And let me tell you a story. I was good friends with Dr. Ann Wigmore, the founder of Hippocrates Health Institute. Anyone ever heard of her here? Hey, no one ever heard of her. Wow, because we had her come to Pittsburgh 35 years ago at my health expo to speak. She was the founder of Hippocrates Health Institute, which was, as I said, a vegan, vegetarian, raw food program. And she healed thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people. <clears throat> and I had her come to San Diego when I lived in San Diego, and I lined up a bunch of radio and TV appearances for her. I was amazed the one place we went to, radio station was located on a campus, one of the universities in San Diego, and the parking lot was very far down. We had to go up about 40 steps to get to the building where the radio studio was from the parking lot. She ran up them, and she was in her 70s, and I couldn't run as fast, and I was in my 30s. She used to have red cheeks. I said, Dr. Ann, what are you putting on there? Are you putting on makeup? She said, no, Jim, I use beet juice. She was Miss Natural, did everything natural. Well, there was 
a wheatgrass house near where I lived. In fact, there were two of them. These were people who lived communally. You know, they had a big house, and each person rented a room, and they had their own jobs or whatever. But you know, they weren't necessarily uh, in relationships. They were just you know renting space there. But they all had one thing in common: they were into the Ann Wigmore type of eating. And it was fun because within a couple blocks of my apartment, I could go to several different places, and they had the wheatgrass juicers and the sprouts and everything. And it was on the honor system. You just put money down, you weighed it on the scale, and then you paid whatever you got. And so I spoke to the uh, one wheatgrass place that was just about a block from my apartment. And they were so excited, they said, why don't we have a dinner with Dr. Ann and have her speak here? So I asked her. She said, sure. So this was a couple months before he brought her in. So they had this wonderful dinner. It was all Dr. Ann type food, organic everything, uh, vegetarian. And she gave a wonderful talk. And I dragged my neighbor of my apartment building there. And when he came out, he says, Jim, I'm very impressed. I want to go on a detox program. I want to go on a fast. So he decided what he was going to do was just water. Now, this is 35 years ago, before we knew about the liver detoxification and assisting it. I said, well, what I want you to do is I want you to do some enemas. And I want you to use a garlic press and squeeze some garlic juice into those enemas. He says, what's the uh, garlic for? I said, because you have worms. He said, how do you know I have worms? I said, you eat chicken, you got worms. So he went on this program and uh, you know, was doing the water fast and uh, doing the enemas. And one day he knocked on my door. He says, I want you to see something. He took me to his bathroom. And there were clumps, handfuls. It looked like uh, angel hair. It was about, all of them were about an inch long, with little black dots on the one end, I guess their eyes. Handfuls of worms. So you might want to add the paracleanse to this. P-A-R-A-C-L-E-A-N-S-E. -E. I don't think it's listed there, but the paracleanse would be something I would recommend because if you've been eating dead animals, you probably have worms just like my friend did. And if you're just a vegetarian and just eating uh, fruits and vegetables, you may have worms because a lot of the produce is coming from third world countries where worms are prevalent and they lay their eggs in the produce. So I would add that. You also could do like an enema day and maybe put some garlic in there. Okay, we're going to open for questions. I only have about uh, seven, eight minutes, so I have to run off. Yes, sir. I'm a survivor of liver cancer. Okay, liver cancer survivor. You ought to be on a vegan vegetarian diet, and you, we have a whole bunch of supplements I'd recommend for you. You ought to be on the Live Clear 1, Live Clear 2, and the Spanish Black Radish, all three of them. I'd recommend vitamin D3 for you, mycosutics, uh, turmeric, uh, burdock complex. There's a number of things I'd recommend, and of course the reds, greens, and purples. And I'd get off all the dead animals. Do you still eat meat? Chicken, fish? So rare. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, I would stay away from it. And commercial chicken is probably more dangerous than regular chicken. So, did you want to ask me a question, or you just wanted my suggestion? Will that stop off the cleansing of my blood? I, th I think you should, you should do this program, yes. It'll be very important. Because one of the essentials of how we approach cancer is detoxification. And so this program is an excellent way to do that. Yes, ma'am. Bone cancer, well, we have a whole packet over there of cancer. If you don't know where it is, ask one of the staff members. And we choose from that. Is it primary bone cancer or metastasized bone cancer? It's metastasized. Okay, from where? Uh, possibly the lung. And who has this? Um, uh, one. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, I have to run out. We have a meat article talking about the relationship of meat and cancer. We have a milk article talking about the relationship of cow's milk and cancer. We, we have the whole packet over here that they can get you. So there's three different packets, the meat packet, the milk packet, and the cancer packet. And then there's websites on our website, drwiner.com. If you go on our website and the menu across the top, the last category is media. You click on that, there'll be a drop down, and there's videos. You click on the videos, and then you're going to see there's a video, Cancer, The Forbidden Cures. Both of you should be watching that. Cancer, The Forbidden Cures, it's right on our website, drwiner.com. It costs you nothing. Now, we do have videos we sell here that are very useful. We also have books. 
But that's a good place to start. And also the website gerson.org, G-E-R-S-O-N.org. Although the Gerson program uh, basically stopped advancing or evolving in the 1950s when Dr. Gerson died. And so in 55 years, we've learned a lot that he didn't know about. So there are certain things he said that we don't believe are true, like berries are good for cancer. He thought they were bad for cancer. Chinese mushrooms are good. He thought they were bad. So there are certain improvements we've made. So we basically recommend the Gerson diet plus some supplements. A few other questions. Yes? How many paracleans? Paracleans, good question. Three twice a day with water between meals. Paracleans, P is in Pittsburgh, A-R-A-C-L-E-A-N-S-E. Is that equivalent to the uh, candy kill? Candy, candy kill is a totally different product. Candy kill is for fungal infections. Paracleans is for worms. Oh, okay. Yeah, different product, different uh, application. Of course, a lot of people do have fungal infections from taking prednisone, cortisone, and antibiotics. You have a further question, sir? Yeah, uh, the paracleans in particular. Uh, I'm interested in that. Will that harm my liver? No, that's not going to harm your liver. I'm not going to harm you longer. Did you have chemo? Did you have chemo? No. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, I'd get on the Live Clear 1 and 2 and the Spanish Black Radish. Yes, ma'am. You had hepatitis B. C. C. Uh, we have uh, a protocol to get rid of that that includes treatments that I do. No, no, I have those treatments. It's all clear. Okay. Well, the doctors know very little about detox, and they know even less about nutrition. Yeah, well, uh, the, you know, they're down on what they're not up on. The medical doctors don't have any training in nutrition whatsoever. Yeah, but I'm fine now. Yeah, but let me tell you, fall and spring are the two best times to detox because your body's trying to detox with the change of seasons. So fall and spring are the two best times for detox. And anyone who has had any kind of illness needs to detox. The reason your body wasn't able to fight off the hepatitis C or you, the cancer, is because your body was toxic. Yes? Is that the whey protein? Uh, this is the whey protein here. It's from New Zealand. This is the whey protein. Hold it up. And then we have the super shake. Yeah. Chemo damages the liver. Yes, it damages the detox ability of the body, including the kidneys. And of course, people get what's called chemo brain. Uh, chemotherapy does not work on metastasized cancer. So if this loved one had lung cancer that spread to the bones, the chemotherapy will not help them. Okay. He's, yeah, he, he's had his radiation treatment. Yeah. Now they want to start chemo. Yeah, but chemo doesn't work for metastasized cancer. You need to research that. If you get our cancer packet, all that information is in there. Okay? Get the cancer packet. We spend over $50,000 a year printing up this information. Get it. Okay? And read it. Go on our website. It costs nothing. The packets cost nothing. I, can't, I, do, I don't want to pay people to take it. We'll give it to you for nothing. We're giving 45 years of my knowledge for nothing. We have all these free classes here. We're giving you $7,000 worth of free food so you can understand what, free, uh, what good food is. We've got health experts answering your questions for free. We've got all this free information. Get it. The, the milk articles, the meat articles, and the cancer packet. You got it? Yeah. Excuse me, Dr. Warner. You mentioned... Uh Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C, she talked about. Treatment here. Well, I don't know that she did the, I don't know what she did. We, we have treatments that are similar to the allergy treatments that can help your body get rid of hepatitis C. Also, intravenous peroxide and drinking dilute oral peroxide are two of the things to kill off viruses, bacteria, and cancer. Yeah, but we also have products like L lysine, uh, the Immunomax for people that have hepatitis. Yes, sir. I know you don't normally recommend vaccinations, but does that include tetanus? Yeah, I haven't had a tetanus shot since I was a kid. Uh, there is a handful of tetanus cases a year out of 320 million people. Uh, talking about shots, the flu shot, I had a man in from a hospital this week 
He told me three of his colleagues came down with Guillain-Barre paralysis and they can't even come back to work. And one guy's been a wheelchair for a year. And the Center for Disease Control admits that the uh, flu shot's only 50% effective. I doubt it's that effective, but that means 50% of the people who get the flu shot by their own admission get the flu. The national average of contracting the flu is 5%. So that means you're 10 times more likely to get the flu if you get the shot than if you don't. Plus, it has 25,000 times uh, the legal limit of mercury. We have an article back there. Yeah? Do you have a protocol here that you can take um, to prevent the flu? Yeah. Like yeah. Well, if you get on the Immunomax, you know, and if you take uh, things like our reds, purples, greens, stay away from dairy products. And if you do get the flu, we do have a product, a silicoxin. If you start getting the symptoms like achiness or chills, or fever or headache or something, you take that oscillococcin, it probably will knock it out. It's done it for me numerous times. Okay, a couple more minutes. Any other questions? Good questions, yeah. Digestive enzymes, very important. I think everyone over the age of 35 or 40 ought to be using them. We are out of the cybezyme and prozyme, so we have the ultra, the digestive enzyme ultra, it's called digestive enzyme ultra that you can use. I carry them in my car. I don't know if I go to a restaurant or someone's house, I always take them. And anyone here on Nexium, Protonic, Prolosex, Antacids, anyone on that? Because you're stopping your digestion. Antacids stop digestion. A lot of times people are put on it just because they get upset stomach from all the medications they're on. Anyone on cholesterol medication? Cholesterol medication causes cancer, did you know that? Causes diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, congestive heart failure. Did you have a question? Acid reflux, I reckon you come in here and we correct it. We have a method of pulling the stomach down. When you have acid reflux, it's a hiatal hernia where the stomach's pushed up, we have to pull it down. So the acid's in the wrong place because the stomach's in the wrong place. And we've helped hundreds of people with this. We do have a whole packet up there about acid reflux and hiatal hernia. And we also have a separate article on how antacids cause bone fractures, okay? And also allow uh, bacteria to grow in your stomach. Yeah. Am I taking too much vitamin C? I take about 4,000 milligrams a day. 4,000 milligrams, you're probably fine. You get diarrhea cut back. Thank you. All depends what type of vitamin C. If you take our Ester C plus, Ester C, okay, it's better absorbed. What's good, good for uh, anti inflammatory? Anti inflammatory, we have the X flame. If someone's on anticoagulants or uh, blood thinners, then we use the inflame. So X flame, if you're not on Coumadin, Warfarin, Pradaxa, Plavix, Effian. Uh, I take a if you, You're a naproxen. Well, we have an article on how NSAIDs uh, can kill you. You need to read that article back there. Wow. Yes, sir. Alopecia. Alopecia. We have pictures over there of people who were bald and grew their hair back. Yeah, he's a 22-year-old uh, Yeah, well, uh, well, we have a, well, 22, he's not a child anymore. No. Uh, probably on a bad diet. Diet has a lot to do with it. I started losing my hair when I was 22 and I'm almost 68. So I changed my diet and I stopped losing the hair. So I would recommend Iodine Plus. You're not writing this down. You're going to remember this? Okay. I mean, some people do have photographic memory. Like Mary Lou Henner. You mentioned, like, uh, you say February 15, 1984. She'll say, oh, I was eating breakfast with my husband. Uh, my son was uh, away at day school. Uh, then I remember it was raining outside. Some people have that kind of memory, but most people don't, so write it down. Iodine plus. Iodine plus. Hair, skin, and nails. Ultra HNS. Ultra HNS. Iodine plus. Hair, skin, and nails. Ultra HNS. Bio Plus, and the Jason Thin to Thick Shampoo. Jason Thin to Thick Shampoo. They need to start eating real food, cut out sugars. Jason Thin to Thick Shampoo. Ultra HNS, like hair, nail, skin. Ultra HNS, and the hair, skin, and nails. Iodine Plus, and starter maybe three a day each, you remember it. Uh, and, and the Bio Plus, and then uh, the Jason Thin to Thick Shampoo and Clean the Scalp. We also have a uh, laser cap that we're selling at a 33% discount if you're interested in that, and that's been proven to help uh, regrow the hair that's dying. Now, if the hair follicles are dead, nothing's going to help you. 
but it can't help. Okay, I'm going to take off. I appreciate your help. And listening uh, across the way, we are having the free meals for you. We also have the free literature and the cancer packet you can find in this bookcase here. Thank you very much. God bless you.